the length of the edging that surrounds circular garden K is one half the length of the edging that surrounds circular garden G. What is the area of, of garden K? Assume that the edging has negligible width. Well, edging, that's the distance around the circle. In geometry, that distance around the circle is known as the circumference. And so we're, what we're told here really is that the circumference of K is one half the circumference of G. Well, circumference, of course, is just 2 pi r. So 2 pi r of k equals 1 half of 2 pi r of g. And if we divide by 2 pi, what we get is that r of k, the radius of k, has to be half the radius of g. And so any information that allows us to figure out the radius of either one of them would allow us to figure out the other radius. And of course, what we're looking for is the area of K. Well, the area of K pi r squared, that's Archimedes' amazing formula for the area of a circle. And so if we knew R K, we'd be able to figure out the area. And if we knew R G, we'd be able to figure out R K and figure out the area. So what we have in the prompt is very information rich, and it's going to be very easy to provide one more piece of information that will be sufficient. Statement number one tells us that the area of G is 25 pi. Well, of course, the area of G, 25 pi, is pi times RG squared. So that would allow us to figure out what RG is, which would allow us to figure out what RK is, which would allow us to figure out what the area of K is. So that one statement is, not surprisingly, sufficient. Statement number two tells us that the edging around G, so the circumference of G, is 10 pi meters long. Well, then we know that the, the edging around K is half of that. The edging around K is five meters long. Well, of course, that, as we said above, that's the circumference, which equals two pi r. So that would allow us to figure out the value of r k, which would allow us to figure out the value of a k. So again, this statement is perfectly sufficient. Both statements are sufficient, not surprisingly, and the answer is d.